Hello everyone out there in YouTube land. This is Luke Reether bringing you this week's powerful message and we got a special guest that we want to introduce to you guys. Guys, I want to welcome you, uh, Pastor Greg Reether with Healing Grace Church. Yeah, good to be here, man. We will get back to you guys here shortly. We just have a short introduction before we get into this message. All right, guys, we are back, and this week's message is coming out of Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. It says, You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its flavor, how shall it be seasoned? It is then good for nothing but to be thrown out and trampled underfoot by men. Pastor, what would you think about this verse? How would you describe this verse to us? And how would you um, describe it to everyone else out here? Well, I think this verse has been used to really uh, bring uh, uh, some condemnation on people. Because uh, how I've heard it preached before is, come on, we got to get out there and be salty Christians. You got to work harder. Come on, you got to be salty. But the whole point that Jesus is making in this verse is, is look, if a salt loses its saltiness, how can it possibly be flavored again? It, it can't. And what he's saying is there's, I mean, for a salt to lose its saltiness, it's, it is impossible, first of all. And, and then, um, but if, if that could happen, how could it ever get it back again? I mean, it, it has no ability to do that. Jesus is saying there's something intrinsically wrong with the salt. And he says, and you are salt. There's something intrinsically missing from the salt. What's missing is the very life of God in us. And so when uh, we believe, we receive God's eternal life, His life put into us. And at that point, we have something to offer the world. And is it, is it an effort to do that? Do we have to do that? No. Is it an effort for salt to be salty? No. Is it an effort for light to shine in a room? It isn't at all. It's just doing what it's natural for it to do. So um, this is not a get out there and try harder verse. This is a Come on, see the situation you find yourself in. You need the life of God in you. And when you receive that, wow, how easy it is for salt just to be salt and add goodness to the world. Wow. You see, I always transcribe this verse or describe this verse as something that you must do in order to get closer to God, you know? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people have interpreted it that way. It's just absolutely wrong. It's Jesus equates this verse. You can see it all through the first half of the Sermon on the Mount when he says, you must be perfect as your heavenly Father is perfect. Well, well, who can do that? He's trying to give up on our own ability to produce life within ourselves. No, the life has to come from God. I really appreciate your time out here today. And guys, I hope you guys were blessed by this message. And uh, please share this video with some of your friends that need some encouragement today. And uh, we'll get back to you guys next week with uh, next week's message. God bless.